Hello everyone. Okay, so before we move on to the next video, let's go ahead and address a couple small things just to make sure that all of our characters will work correctly in this live 2D setup. So they appeared to be working in the last video, but we just want to make sure that we take care of a couple more settings. So first of which is we want to make sure that our cameras are rendering in the same setup. So we see that the live 2D character um, camera here is set to orthographic because that is what uh, displays the characters appropriately. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for my main camera and set that to orthographic with the same size scale as well. So we're working with the same resolution. And if we look at the scene view versus the game view between these two canvases, we won't see any sort of difference or discrepancy between the characters being set on screen. Secondly, if we play it and we look at the scene view, we can see these two separate canvases displaying at different parts of the screen, and it looks like we got two characters, so that might be confusing if you go to try to do anything in the scene view, like tweak some settings or whatnot. So let's make sure that everything is centered where they should be. So if we come to the Live 2D canvas and the camera, they are all centered. Live 2D is centered, uh, but the main camera here is not centered. So let's go ahead and make sure that we move that to zero. 0, 0 on all axes, and then they're all in the same position. Now that may look fine the way it is, but if we just turn our camera, then we can see that it's actually way offset in the Z axis there. So, so what we'd like to do instead is go to our camera and change actually our canvas and change the plane distance from 100 to 10 to match our main canvas. If we look at our main canvas, the plane distance is 10 there as well. So they'll just be rendering at the same depth in the scene. Now, let's go ahead and play this one more time. And looks fine. But let's go into the scene view and take a look at our characters now. So if we look at Rice, we can see that Rice's rec transform is within this box as it should be, because that's the canvas that she's actually on. And she's got her anchors set. This is just because I've gone ahead and manually set this. Um, if we look at Mao and Natori, which is how we left off the last videos, we just basically duplicated their prefabs from the other characters. So if I go ahead and select uh, Natori, who's this guy here, then we don't get a selection. We do get anchors, but we don't get a selection because it's actually in a different spot in space. So this needs to be changed as well because that's not matching up and it's not something that we can move around on the UI as it is. And we can see this by a very high Z value. So if we recreate character prefabs, just make sure that they're on the right position on the canvas. That way you don't wind up with some issues and you're wondering where your rect transform is. So let's hop out and then go to, uh, let's enable Natori. He's showing up on screen, um, but let's go ahead and set the Z axis to zero. That way, that way what we get now is it is even with the actual canvas. Still not on screen, so let's go ahead and move that to the center of the screen. And now you can see that he's actually moved out of the render texture. So that's only because his actual live 2D character is way offset as well. So let's go ahead and bring this in to where it should be by recentering all of these and then just moving him down to about where he should be for his character. So maybe about like this. And now if we look at his rec transform once more, we can see it's all aligned with the canvas and we can go ahead and adjust it as we need. And then of course, don't forget to set the anchors. That way our movement works as it should. Okay, so there we go, Natori is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and delete his other prefab and then drag this one back in. And now he's ready to go. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing for Mao and Koharu as well. And after doing the same for the other characters, then I'm able to get them all showing up and they're all set up to where I can easily edit them and look between the two canvases and it doesn't look as confusing as it did a second ago. So that's it, that short little video, but I felt that was a little bit necessary to elaborate on, uh, especially for anyone who was wondering why it was looking that way in their scene view. So that's all I got for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.